A major U.S. government study on rats finds a link between cell phones and cancer, an explosive development in the long-running debate over the health effects of mobile phones. Here with more details is Wall Street Journal reporter Ryan Knutson. Ryan, thanks so much for being with us. Now, this $25 million study is the largest and most comprehensive study that's ever been done on cell phones and health effects, correct? Yeah, this is one of the biggest studies that the U.S. government has ever done on this topic. It's probably the biggest study that the National Toxicology Program has ever done on anything. This has been such a debated thing over the years that when the government set out to do this, they really wanted to design a study that would try to not put the issue to rest, but really do be the most comprehensive experiment. Get to the bottom of it. And yeah. how was it conducted exactly? They put um, mice and rats into these specially designed chambers where they could expose them at different intervals of uh, RF energy, which is the kind of energy that comes off of cell phones. The, the results were only released from the rat portion of the study. We don't know what the impacts were on the mice. But they, they were in these chambers. Uh, they were exposed in on-off intervals of 10 minutes on, 10 minutes off for 18 hours a day for a total of nine hours of exposure a day for about two years. So the same then, level of cell phone radiation that a human would be exposed to. Right. right. This okay. was designed to be a, 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 more than you would probably typically get, sort of on the high end, but mm -hmm. still in sort of the range of what humans are typically exposed to by cell phones. And then they found a link to two types of tumors? Right. Uh, gliomas and uh, schwannomas. Um, and those, uh, those are associated with other types of tumors that have been found in other epidemiological studies in the past. So were that's, these brain tumors or tumors in other parts well, of the, the body? Well, the, the rats were exposed over their whole body. So the okay. tumors that they found, one was in the brain, the gliomas were in the brain, and the schwannomas were in uh, cells around the heart. Right. But the cells around the heart are also similar to um, the type of cells that get tumors in what's called an acoustic neuroma, which is a, a common type of cancer that has been associated with cell phone use in the past. Certainly scary stuff to all of us who use cell phones. Is this enough then to say we know now without a shadow of a doubt that cell phones are not 100% safe? I mean, I, it, the difficult thing about all the research is it's sort of a, it's a cumulative thing. It's, mm -hmm. There's never really a smoking gun. I think that if this study had found no effects, people could probably breathe a sigh of relief. But if it did find an effect, so it's going to be, it's a very, very significant finding that would lead people to believe that you can't say these are perfectly safe. That so and now going forward, is the cell phone industry likely to respond? Are government agencies likely to you know, have some regulations over this? Yeah, well, this calls into question all of the safety regulations around phones because the only way that people know this type of energy affects human bodies right. is at high levels it will heat you up like right. a microwave would. But they're designed to be well below those levels. But this study would indicate that there's a way that there can be a biological effect below these sorts of thermal levels. So these standards may need to be rethought. Now, we know a lot of people today prefer texting to talking on the phone. Is that potentially safe? For keeping the phone at a distance? Um, it, I would say that it probably is because what you, your highest exposure is when the phone is up to your head and when it is broadcasting a signal to the cell phone tower. So if it's in your hands, you know, your hands are getting a little bit of exposure, but you don't have the same types of sensitive organs in your hands, obviously, as you do in your head. So right. anything you can do to keep the device away from your body at all. So don't put it in your, you know, don't use a headset and then put it in your pocket because then you're still having the same, you know, sort of exposure. Very good advice. Are scientists coming out with new recommendations? I mean, are they saying we have this knowledge now, let's do something with it? Well, there's still, a, there's a, the whole scientific community is just reacting to it and t trying to digest it now because uh, this is, kind of it reframes the debate in a way where now you have these animal these animal experiment, experiments that show that there is an effect. I tell you, I for one am going to stick to texting <laughs> from now on after this, Ryan. Thank you so much for that.